All right, Jeff Ellenwood here with the South Carolina Canine Academy. I got some more uh, tips and tricks here for you. Uh, I've had a lot of people asking me about brushing their dogs, and I know it just seems like you just get a brush and brush your dog. But uh, I found a really interesting trick that I learned from a groomer and breeder that she used to do with her German Shepherds that helped get a lot of hair off. But the benefit was is that it wasn't all over the place. It was all kind of condensed. And it isn't a special, you know, stripping comb or anything like that. Because I've learned that with some of the stripping combs that take off a lot of fur, Bjorn here doesn't like it. He gets real irritated and lets me know in, in the nicest way. But then after a while, he gets real grumpy. So I found a solution that the dog really likes. I like because it gets a lot off of him. And uh, we're both happy that way. So what we want to do first is uh, we're going to use a little detangler. Okay, now this is horse detangler, but you can use you know, kids hair detangler, because the purpose of the hair detangler is to kind of make the hair a little more slick, put a little weight to it, so when you're going over and brushing it, it just comes right out. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to demonstrate it here. So I got my uh, spray, and I'm going to take my hand and go across his body like this and spray at the same time. See, he don't mind that at all, does he? You don't like this at all, do you, buddy? Okay. So I'm just going right behind my hand as I'm spraying. All right. I'm just doing a quick once over. Once I get enough on there, what I'm going to do is the part that the dog really likes. I'm just going to go like this. Just rub it all in. Get it in there good. This will also help loosen up a lot of the hair, too as you're going as you can see <laughs> it's taking it right up this helps get that uh, detangler in there real good and you see he doesn't mind at all Bjorn don't mind this at all do you buddy no okay get it in there real good I usually let it sit a little bit which I normally have to to get all the hair off my hands but the cool thing about it, when you use that detangler, it kind of pushes it all one tight little bunch so it all sticks together instead of just flying all over the place. Alright, so the next thing I'll use to kind of get the hair moving around even more, there's different applications. They have several different things like this, but I want you to see it. Uh, Kong makes it as a zoom groom, but there's several things like it, but it's rubber tips, okay? And this is good for dogs with all weather coats like your German Shepherds and, you know, Bjorn's a greater Swiss mountain dog. And what you do is just going to kind of brush them in circles. Go against the grain. I know it seems like I thought you weren't supposed to go against the grain. But Bjorn doesn't mind it. Just kind of go in circles. It gets all the hair up. and He likes it. Kind of massages them at the same time. Makes that skin feel good, doesn't it, buddy? You can get a lot of hair up without a lot of mess, which is what I really like about it. And it, all, it makes your dog smell good, too, because whatever hair detangler you have gives them a nice scent. So you can see some kind of, some of that those tufts and undercoat just coming right up without me just having to scrape them with a hard comb over and over again. You liking this, buddy? Huh? Okay. I'm just doing a quick once over here. Now, you see how much I just pulled off from that. What's cool about it, all that just pulls right off of there. Nice compact piece of hair I can put in a bag. Now, once you've done that, and you see you got a lot of this hair sitting on top here, in my hairy palms, <laughs> I got a little uh, slicker brush, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go against the grain, but I'm not gonna push down hard. It's just enough to grab the hair. And you'll see it'll kind of catch the rest of the hair because he doesn't really like these kind of brushes. But when you see I'm just barely grazing the top just to get that stuff that was pulled up the top off of him. Right? Yeah, buddy. You're looking good. You see just after that little bit... I'm pulling a good bit, thick piece of hair off of them too. It's pretty condensed. 
And what you would do is just do it for a little bit longer each time. You might have to do it a couple times, especially if your dog's blowing a coat that time of year. But just go ahead and do that. And you see Bjorn was loving it, weren't you, buddy? And you get a lot of hair off him. Obviously, I still have some more work to do, but I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. But thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. I'm Jeff with the South Carolina Canine Academy. Leave your comments and let me know what you think. Thanks. Have a good day.